I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 15.1 Questioner, I would like to apologize for any past and future stupid questions. They are due to the fact that I am searching for the proper entry into the investigation of the law of one. I would like to ask about the use of the instrument, if it is a function of the time we use the instrument or the amount of words or information the instrument gives. In other words, do I have to hurry and ask questions, or can I take my time to ask questions? Answer, I am Ra. There are two portions to your query. Firstly, this instrument's reserve of vital energy which is a product of body, mind, and spirit distortions in the various complexes is the key to the length of time which we may expend using this instrument. We searched. Your group and we contacted you for each in your group possesses significantly more vital energy of the body complex. However, this instrument was tuned most appropriately by the mind, body, spirit complex distortions of its beingness and this illusion. Therefore, we remained with this instrument. Secondly, we communicate at a set rate which is dependent upon our careful manipulation of this instrument. We cannot be more, as you would say, quick. Therefore, you may ask questions speedily but the answers we have to offer are at a set pace given. Question 15.2 Questioner, this isn't exactly what I meant. If it takes me, say 45 minutes to ask my questions, does that give the instrument only 15 minutes to answer, or could the instrument go over an hour, all totaled, with her answers? Answer, I am Ra. The energy required for this contact is entered into this instrument by a function of time. Therefore, the time is the factor, as we understand your query. Question 15.3 Questioner, then I should ask my questions rapidly so that I do not reduce the time. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. You shall do as you deem fit. However, we may suggest that to obtain the answers you require may mean that you invest some of what you experience as time. Although you lose the answer time, you gain thereby in the specificity of the answer. At many times in the past, we have needed clarification of hastily phrased questions. Question 15.4 Questioner, thank you. The first question is this. Why does rapid aging occur on this planet? Answer, I am Ra. Rapid aging occurs upon this third density planet due to an ongoing imbalance of receptor web complex in the etheric portion of the energy field of this planet. The thought form distortions of your peoples have caused the energy streamings to enter the planetary magnetic atmosphere, if you would so term this web of energy patterns in such a way that the proper streamings are not correctly imbued with balanced vibratory light love from the shall we say, cosmic level of this octave of existence. Question 15.5 Questioner, do I assume correctly that one of your attempts in service to this planet was to help the population more fully understand and practice the law of one so that this rapid aging could be changed to normal aging? Answer, I am Ra. You are assumed correctly to a great degree. Question 15.5 Questioner, then it would be very beneficial for the people of this planet in practicing the law of one to learn ways of service at this time. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct. If you will observe those oriented through a lifetime experiential distortion complex from near the beginning of that experience, you will observe a relatively youthful, as you would call it, appearance. Question 15.7 Questioner. What is the greatest service that our population on this planet could perform individually? Answer, I am Ra. There is but one service. The law is one. The offering of self to creator is the greatest service, the unity, the fountainhead. The entity who seeks the one creator is with infinite intelligence. From this seeking, from this offering, a great multiplicity of Opportunities will evolve depending upon the mind, body, spirit complexes distortions with regard to the various illusory aspects or energy centers of the various complexes of your illusion. Thus, some become healers, some workers, some teachers, and so forth. Question 15.8 Questioner, if an entity were perfectly balanced with respect to the law of one on this planet would he undergo the aging process? Answer, I am Ra. A perfectly balanced entity would become tired rather than visibly aged. 
the lessons being learned, the entity would depart. However, this is appropriate and is a form of aging which your peoples do not experience. The understanding comes slowly, the body complex decomposing more rapidly. Question 15.9 Questioner, can you tell me a little more about the word balancing as we are using it? Answer, I am Ra. Picture, if you will, the one infinite. You have no picture. Thus, the process begins. Love creating light, becoming love light, streams into the planetary sphere according to the electromagnetic web of points or nexi of entrance. These streamings are then available to the individual who, like the planet, is a web of electromagnetic energy fields with points or nexi of entrance. In a balanced individual each energy center is balanced and functioning brightly and fully. The blockages of your planetary sphere cause some distortion of intelligent energy. The blockages of the mind, body, spirit complex further distort or unbalance this energy. There is one energy. It may be understood as love light or light love or intelligent energy. Question 15.10 Questioner, am I correct to assume that one of the blockages of the mind, body, spirit complex might be, shall we say, ego, and this could be balanced using a worthiness-unworthiness balance? Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Question 15.11. Questioner, can you tell me how you balance the ego? Answer, I am Ra. We cannot work with this concept as it is misapplied and understanding cannot come from it. Question 15.12. Questioner, how does an individual go about balancing himself? What is the first step? Answer, I am Ra. The steps are only one that is, an understanding of the energy centers which make up the mind, body, spirit complex. This understanding may be briefly summarized as follows. The first balancing is of the Morkath, or Earth, vibratory energy complex, called the Red Ray Complex. An understanding and acceptance of this energy is fundamental. The next energy complex, which may be blocked is the emotional, or personal complex, also known as the Orange Ray Complex. This blockage will often demonstrate itself as personal eccentricities or distortions with regard to self-conscious understanding or acceptance of self. The third blockage resembles most closely that which you have called ego. It is the yellow ray or solar plexus center. Blockages in this center will often manifest as distortions toward power manipulation and other social behaviors concerning those close and those associated with the mind, body, spirit complex. Those with blockages in these first three energy centers, or nexi, will have continuing difficulties in ability to further their seeking of the law of one. The center of heart, or green ray, is the center from which third density beings may springboard, shall we say, to infinite intelligence. Blockages in this area may manifest as difficulties in expressing what you may call universal love or compassion. The blue ray center of energy streaming is the center which, for the first time, is outgoing as well as inpouring. Those blocked in this area may have difficulty in grasping the spirit-mind complexes of its own entity and further difficulty in expressing such understandings of self. Entities blocked in this area may have difficulties in accepting communication from other mind, body, spirit complexes. The next center is the pineal or indigo ray center. Those blocked in this center may experience a lessening of the influx of intelligent energy due to manifestations which appear as unworthiness. This is that of which you spoke. As you can see, this is but one of many distortions. Due to the several points of energy influx into the mind, body, spirit complex. The indigo ray balancing is quite central to the type of work which revolves about the spirit complex which has its influx then into the transformation or transmutation of third density to fourth density, it being the energy center receiving the least distorted outpourings of love light from intelligent energy and also the potential for the key to the gateway of intelligent infinity. The remaining center of energy influx is simply the total expression of the entity's vibratory complex of mind, body and spirit. It is as it will be. Balanced, or, imbalanced, has no meaning at this energy level, for it gives and takes in its own balance. Whatever the distortion. 
may be, it cannot be manipulated as can the others and, therefore, has no particular importance in viewing the balancing of an entity.